Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use Python script to query uh, partial data from S3 object. For example, let's say we have a huge comma separated file kept in S3 with employee data. And I want to query probably few records or few columns from that S3 object that can be done with AWS S3 select. For example, let's say we have a scenario where we have to read data from S3 and load that information into DynamoDB or Redshift using Lambda function. Earlier, the limitation was if the file is more than, let's say, 500 MB, let's say we have a file of 2 GB or 3 GB, we can't download that onto our Lambda function temp directory because it only supports about 512 MB. If file is larger, Lambda functions will not help us to achieve this a specific implementation. With help of S3 select, we can select data and whatever data we want to. Let's say sometimes we don't want to uh, fetch all the information from the file and we want to fetch only a subset of information, a partial information from that S3 object and persist into uh, some Dynamo or Redshift databases. S3 Select is very handy and useful. Not only that, it drastically improves the performance of our uh, applications. We don't have to completely download the file and process the file now. So we using S3 select, we can read data as a streaming and we, we are not going to store that information locally on our Lambda function if it is a Lambda function and persist that data into a, a databases. For this demonstration, what I will do is I will take one a simple uh, comma separated file. I'll keep that in S3. We'll see a Python code which will do a select operation on S3 to fetch specific records from S3 object. I created a separate workspace for this demonstration. So let's create uh, a Python script. For this example to work, Locally, we need to have Boto3. So do that using pip install Boto3. Boto3 is the module, uh, otherwise Boto3 is Python SDK for uh, AWS. And also locally you need to have uh, access key and secret key configured such that our Python code can interact with our AWS S3. So import Boto3 let's get the client of S3 let's store that in a client variable Let's Google for uh, Boto3 S3. We have function select object content. So it kind of uses SQL standard for querying data from S3 object. I scroll down and see how to use this function. It takes bucket key. Okay, let me grab this information. So I need to put the bucket which contains our uh, comma separated files. I have kept the sample file in Java Home 1990. Uh, bucket
So under files, we have employees.csv. So under key, right? So I need to provide the location of the file in this bucket. We don't need these two attributes right now. The expression type is SQL and the expression itself is my select query. I want to select name, email from our S3 object which is employees.csv. So then we also need to mention input serialization as well as output serialization. For input serialization, I need to specify what type of file it is. It is a comma separated file. And we also need to specify other additional informations like a file header info. I want to say use. So it actually means it's going to use the header names right in the file as column names in this select query. CSV file in S3 has header name comma email under name we have names under email I kept the emails so now right so output serialization you can get this output in JSON format or CSV format whichever is relevant for your use case let me have this output serialization in CSV format Let's store the output returned by this method in a response object. Now let's loop through the response object, payload object. Let's see the return type and based on the return type, we'll see how to fetch data from that response object. So written type is dictionary and it has a payload. So I need to get the payload and inside payload we have records. So let me loop through the payload object. If records exist in this object, so I want to print that record. Now let me open the terminal. Python three. So there is typo. So we missed the alias name of the table. Fine, right? We're getting data from uh, S3 object, which is comma separated one. So if you wanna get this output, in JSON format instead of CSV, I could give my output serialization as JSON. Now, right, it returns data in a JSON format. So, likewise, let's say I want to access only name, not email, then also. Fine, right? So I'm going to select only name, and that is how S3 select works in Amazon for selecting only a subset of information from a file, even a specific columns from the file. It's very handy, and performance wise, it's very, very good.
So for more information about the SQL structure, right? So please refer AWS documentation.